It is true that sacred places and tirthas offer many blessings to the yatri. It is also true that sacred places are sanctified by the wise saints and jnanis who grace these places with their passing footprints or prolonged presence. One such pilgrimage or yatra I made was to Taksang Monastery, famously known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery, located in Paro, Bhutan. Its origins are shrouded in the mists of history, just as its precarious location is shrouded in mountain fog. The legend of Taksang begins in 747 CE with the arrival of Guru Padmasambhava. Guru Padmasambhava was a Brahmin Hindu who lived in Tibet and came from Tibet atop a tigress. He spent three years and three months and little more meditating in the cave here assuming a wrathful form and subdued the adharmic forces that were present. After this meditation, he emerged in eight incarnations and scattered profound treasures all over Bhutan for the benefit of sentient beings. Guru Padmasambhava and his teachings of what came to be known as Tantric Buddhism have continued to bless Bhutan and Buddhism to this very day. He is seen in these areas as holy as the Buddha himself. I wanted to pay my respects to this Guru who lived around the same time as Bhagavad Pada, Adi Shankaracharya and also because I have felt a strong connection to him. This temple was built by a Nyingma Buddhist master probably in the 1500s and has undergone some modifications since then. There are no photographs allowed inside and there are very beautiful three shrines with some paintings and the murti and the cave wherein he meditated. There is something very special about this place. It's very powerfully peaceful. With the whole intention that you are more than the body and the mind. And the second thing is uh, Ishvara Kripa. So it is only with the blessings of Bhagavan and all the deities of money that you are able to complete a yatra like this. And of course, Shastra Kripa. It is in places, consecrated places like these, which are deeply sacred because all five elements are consecrated with all the prayers and the chanting that. The truth of the Shastra becomes dear to us. And so may we go on many yatras and may we receive the blessings. On our way back, seeing the tiger colored butterfly was a sign that our yatra to Tiger's Nest was truly complete.